Okay, we have Bo Nix here, and he is ready for questions. We will start on the right side of the room, second row. Bo, Bill Cameron with the, uh, the drive, ESPN 106.7. Uh, obviously, one of the biggest questions uh, about the offense this year is going to be the receivers. What have you seen? And, and talk about the addition of uh, Demetrius Robertson. Yes, sir. Um, so obviously, like you just said, we got an addition with Demetrius. Excited to get him on campus and to meet him and throw with um, throw to him because of obviously um, his past. But I think the um, experience factor is just going to be key and moving forward. Uh, the first three games, will prob the first few games, really going into the season will. Um, help for our experience, um, especially at receiver, because we lost some guys from last year. Uh, but those guys are excited. They're ready to go. Um, they're working hard right now. They're learning the playbook. Um, and we're, we're practicing together a lot, which is really important for a, a quarterback receiver duo, uh, just to know um, more about each other, know how each other plays. Um, and that's important. And that'll be a key for us moving forward as we play games. Bo to your left, second row. Bo, with the new head coach this year and some new faces in the quarterback room as well, do you feel a little extra pressure coming into this year? Uh, not at all. I think um, I, I'm just confident. Um, I've had um, a few, I mean, I guess you could say my freshman year was a solid year. Last year, um, at times, you struggled, and, um, but I think it was a great year of growth. So I've had um, two good years, um, in my opinion. Um, uh, obviously, continue to grow. Uh, I think pressure is a, a privilege, and so um, all the added pressure is just uh, more of an honor to be at Auburn playing quarterback. Um, and I really am blessed to be here, blessed to be in this position because I know there's so many people that could be. Um, I'm just excited that I'm the one that, that the Lord chose. Um, and moving forward, just um, continue to be a great teammate, um, be there for those guys because uh, they go through a lot too. They have a lot of pressure on themselves. Um, but I grew up kind of understanding that um, being the Auburn's quarterback would be um, would have a lot of pressure, and it would come with a lot of pressure. But I'm excited. Um, I'm thankful for the opportunity. I'm excited to play another season. We have two questions here on the front row. One. Bo, Tyler Shaw with KBTX and College Station. Uh, across the league, there's a lot of first-year starting quarterbacks this year. Uh, how much of an advantage is it for you to, to be a guy that's had experience playing under center in, in the SEC? Well, yeah, um, obviously experience started as a freshman, but um, so knowing what a first year starter was like, um, going to Texas A&M and playing, going to LSU, going to Florida, um, probably three of the toughest places to play in college football. So I understand um, where they're going to, what position they're going to be in. Um, but my advice to them would just uh, to be who they are and not try to do anything special. The game of uh, college football is the same game we played our entire lives. Um, it may be a little faster with more people, bigger environments, may be louder, but um, the football is still um, going to be put down. You're going to play against a defense that has 11 guys on the field, and, and you're just trying to score. And for most of the time, it's, it's just depending on your teammates um, and um, really depending on those guys and having um, a trust with them and, and just trusting your coaches. We get on the front row here. Hey, Bo, I work at a paper in Charleston, South Carolina. I believe your dad used to coach at Charleston yes, Southern. And you were a ball boy for him, right? Sure was. Just what are your memories of that time when you were a ball boy and of Charleston in uh, particular? You know what? Charleston was one, of, um, it was one of my favorite places to where I lived. I met one of my best friends. Um, we're still friends to this day. Um, and like you said, I got to go out there and be the ball boy for my dad because Charleston Southern is a small school. Um, out there in Charleston. So there weren't any managers or anything. So the managers were the coaches' kids. So after school, um, every single day, I, was, I would go to practice. Um, I would help spot footballs. I'd help shag footballs. I would help with drills. And that's really where I started to learn the most about the game of football. I was around um, how my dad coached. It was very respectful coaching staff. So there wasn't any profanity or any coaches out there that were um, – that would prohibit me from being out there at a, at a young age. I was only in fifth or sixth grade. Um, so I would go out there every single day, spot the balls, and if I messed up, my dad would rip me for it. Um, but that's just where I learned to love the game. And um, every Sunday, we'd go out there after um, the game on Saturday. Dad would finish watching video, and my brother and I and um, him, we'd get one other person, and we'd play two-on-two -two football on one of those smaller fields in the back. And that's really when um, I really knew I loved the game of football. Um, and it was excited to play. I didn't start playing football until seventh grade, so that's why I was able to um, be a ball boy for that long. To your left on the second row. Hey, Bo, you were the, one of the first uh, student athletes to sign a deal. At midnight, you posted a picture with Milo's. Uh, first thing is, did, did you reach out to them or did they reach out to you? And the second thing is, you realize you're going to be linked to this topic for the rest of your life, and have you really thought about that? Yeah, of course. Um, 
First of all, I think NIL is a great opportunity for us student athletes. Um, I, I'm really thankful it's, it's not limited to just one sport or anything. I mean, it's every single college athlete um, can now uh, make um, compensation off of their name, which is important because their name is only um, what, what they have, and that's uh, unique to them. And so um, allowing other people to use it for um, and, and to benefit those, those players, those athletes, I think it's, it's valuable. Um, but with Milo's, it was just a mutual agreement. Um, and um, obviously, it may be stuck with me forever, but um, eventually somebody else will sign something, and that'll be the topic, or I'll sign something else, and that'll be the new topic. So it's just all evolving. But like I said, it's a great opportunity. To your right on the second row in the end. Hey, Bo, Dan Peck, ESPN 1067 in Auburn. Uh, you, you said uh, you felt you've had two good years as, as the Auburn starting quarterback. Uh, just curious, uh, things that you believe you've improved upon since you got to Auburn before the 2019 season and things uh, in, in your game that you think still need work? Well, I think just from a physical standpoint, I've improved um, with um, size, speed, and strength. I think that's helped me run in the ball um, and, and longevity in the SEC uh, is, um, kept me safe and kept me uh, healthy, which is, I mean, the best um, ability in, in any sports is availability. And so keeping me on the field is important so I can improve and, and can continue to gain experience um, because as a quarterback especially, it is, experience is the number one thing in my opinion. The more you see, the more you adapt to, the more you um, can take advantage of. That's, that's the best part about being a quarterback. And um, I w probably could um, – mention a bunch of things that I could improve on. But one of the things is just making those tight windows throws that I know I can make um, and throwing people open. And it's just one of those gifts that you see Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, Patrick Mahomes, they do. Um, even though sometimes they throw to open receivers, um, especially Patrick Mahomes when you got Tyreek Hill and guys like that. But um, so helping our receivers out, um, helping with their experience, um, throwing those guys open so they can understand what it's like to to run routes and to fit in tight windows, and so they can gain experience from this for themselves. To your left on the second row. Hey, Bo, you guys have gotten your first summer offseason under Coach Harson. Um, how have the changes been, and how have y'all adjusted to um, working under Coach Harson? Uh, the changes have been great. Um, it's been very smooth. Uh, Coach Harson is huge with the, the small details and, and the discipline that goes into having a, running a football program. That's helped us tremendously. Um, I think that guys have responded really well. Obviously, there's, there's always something that could be changed and could be done better. Um, and so our guys are learning and adapting to that and um, just continue to trust the coaches, what they're telling us to do, um, learning the new schemes, offense and defense, special teams, uh, which is going to be important for our success moving forward. But this summer, the workouts have been tough. Um, we run stadiums now, um, and that's, that's really tough. Um, Owen and I actually ran it before we came up here, so uh, we made sure not to skip out on that. Um, but that's just going to only help our development, and um, it's tough now, so that maybe we can gain an advantage in the future um, in the fourth quarters, overtimes, and those tough games when um, both teams are, are tired and exhausted and who can push through it the most. Two final questions. The first over here on the left. Hey, Bo, uh, going off her question about Coach Harson, you know, he's a Boise boy through and through. You have grown up as an Auburn fan. You've been down in the SEC for a long time. What have you told him about what he's about to experience this first season in SEC country? Well, I think he understands the magnitude of SEC um, football because, I mean, you know, it just means more down here. Um, and that, that actually is a, a legitimate saying um, for the league. And um, every team is so, so tough to play to where each and every week it better mean more to you um, or you'll mess around and get beat. Um, so Coach Harson understands that. He came in knowing that. Um, he has done a really good job of laying a foundation. Uh, he's excited, I know, to play in some, some hostile environments and some great atmospheres. But he's played in some, some big games himself, um, so he'll understand it. But it's one of those things that you can't really explain to someone unless they experience it first. Like I knew Florida would be loud, but there was a point where you just couldn't hear anything, and that's when I realized how loud things could really be. So it's, it's all about experience, and Coach will experience that. Uh, whenever our first uh, tough environment will be. I'm sure the first game against Akron will be loud because fans are allowed to be back in the stadium, which is going to be a, a lot of fun. It's going to be a blast. And um, I think there, there could be a lot of people there for that first one. And the atmospheres will just continue to get better and better as the year goes on. Our final question right here on your right. 
Bo, uh, what's it been like having TJ in the room with you, you know, this summer? And what are your initial impressions of him as a quarterback? Yeah, TJ um, obviously was a, um, a good transfer for us. Um, he's a big, strong guy with, with a good arm, a fast release. Um, so I've just done everything I can to help him um, learn the offense because I know how it was for me at the beginning. I know what kind of offense he came from. So it's going to be a little different for him. But we've gotten a lot of transfers that I think are important for our team. Um, we did a really good job in the transfer portal. Um, got a receiver, got a few other guys on offense, and then got some really key defensive players um, that are already helping us over there. Um, and they'll, they will continue to help us. So um, just all the transfer guys that we got, um, we're excited for those guys to get out there and play with us um, in the first game and see um, how they can contribute. Bo, thank you very much. Thank you, Great guys. Job. Where are you going?